We are currently live. I hope. Who's watching? Tell me when you're here. I think I got this whole thing figured out now. Guess we'll find out. All right. Let me know when you're here, guys. Um, let's see, how's that work? I'm gonna go ahead and prep here. Who's with us? Not seeing anything on there yet? That's all right. Hello! We are currently live, hopefully on Facebook and YouTube. Perfect. It's there. Yay. Good news. Oh boy, I can hear myself again. Sorry. Let me know when you guys are with us. I think they're going to probably comment on Facebook more so, so you could probably stick to Facebook. I just wanted to know that we were live. Let me know when you guys are with us. I can't see anything at the moment. Hey! Trisha's here. Hi, Trisha! Jody, I see you. Right on. That's all right. Yeah, mute me. Mute me. Okay. We'll give it a few more minutes and make sure everybody gets on here. And then we'll get started. We're doing abstract poppy field tonight. Tonight, today, whatever it is. Um, I did make a last minute change to our materials list and that was a cup. Hi, Sarah. So, I forgot that we used one of these little... Tracy's here too? Hey Tracy! We used one of these little plastic cups last time to add a little bit more texture. So if you have something about this size, that would be great. Um, it's, it's totally optional though, you don't have to do it. It's just something that we did and I'll probably throw it in there tonight too. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, you guys are free to pick whatever color poppies you want. If you want to do the turquoise poppies or if you want to do red poppies, yellow poppies, whatever poppies you want to do. So, I'm going to get my paint poured. Hopefully I can flip this sucker around without losing everything. Yay! Wow, that went way better. Okay. <clears throat> Should have probably done this beforehand. Oh, got to get in here. Sorry, guys. Do we have a, a Darce and a Laura Lee yet? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. 6.30! It is 6.30, right? Yep. You were supposed to go live at 6.30? Okay. Panic. All right. So, to start... <clears throat> Should I wait a little bit longer? I don't know what else to talk about. How was your guys' day? <laughs> I did a live earlier today. Um, just to kind of test this new platform that we're using so that we can be live on both Facebook and YouTube. And I did the entire video sideways. It was great. Yeah, so hopefully tonight it's looking correct. Yeah, it looks like it. Is the top of the canvas cut off? I don't or know. is that just how it looks from there? Can you guys see the whole thing? Well, I'll put your hand on the top of it and I'll tell you. In about 20 seconds. <laughs> in about 20 seconds. <laughs> All right. Well, <clears throat> hopefully everybody is ready to rock and roll. And we are going to start first with our black and white background. We're going to, and I'm just, I'm literally just going to pour black and white because I'm going to get messy like I usually do. So if you want to go ahead and get your black and white poured, make sure you have your bubble wrap standing by. Probably going to use a lot of white. And a little bit more white there. Okay, so what we're going to first do is transition. Do you want to message Dars? I'm getting it. Oh, look at you. She's already on it. Um, we're going to, first we're going to transition. I'm going to show you the actual painting first. Where's the original at? I don't know. This is the one I painted last weekend. This, I did the, the turquoise poppy. It was just right here. It was just right here. 
So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on, and I actually did this guys in like less than an hour. I really did not overthink it. I tried to just go with the flow. Um, the first step is to throw on our background, which is gonna be a transition from light gray down to dark. Um, so that is what we're gonna do first. And Shamar did, she did red poppies. So just so you guys can see, there's, there's definitely options. You guys can do whatever you feel like doing. I think she used a cad red. Did you use cad I red on there? Cad red. Yeah, cad red. And then we both used, I think, a deep, deep yellow. So I'm going to get those out of the way. And then we can get started. It's going to be in here in front of us. Like... Probably. Hmm. Well, that's all right. We get the point. So. I am going to first start with my big flat brush. I'm going to go ahead and wet it down and do a dab dab on the paper towel. I don't want a ton of moisture, but I want it to be nice and soft. And we're going to start by mixing a light gray. Everybody with us? That's here. So I'm going to first I'm going to grab a really big chunk of white here. I'm going to grab just a touch of gray little bit more about like that let's test it out yeah that's a good gray I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna use horizontal strokes I'm gonna do this pretty quickly um, I'm gonna start with this lighter gray maybe even add a touch more white to the top and then basically the point is, as you transition from the top to the bottom, you're going to get darker and darker and darker. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a bit more black. And keep using my horizontal brush strokes. I literally just learned how to paint this last week. And I'm still learning with palette knives. Palette knives is kind of Shamar's thing, but she's uh, she's not feeling it tonight, guys. So she's gonna be the voice in the background slash moderator. So I'm not feeling good. She, I know she's not feeling good. We'll just put it this way. <laughs> she's not feeling good. No, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have that. You know that one thing that everybody's talking about. Rona. It's not the Rona. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start getting a little bit darker here. Oh, Marley and Darcy are not. <clears throat> You're not going to make it? Nope. Aw, oh, darn. Okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't wait for him then. <laughs> no offense. We miss you guys. <laughs> Real streaky here. That's okay. That just adds to the ab abstractness of it. I'm pretty sure that's not a word, but it is today. <clears throat> I just keep adding more black, and if I feel like it's too dark, then I add a little bit more white. More black. Probably a good idea to paint your edges too. Yeah, if you want to paint your edges, totally paint your edges. Um, in fact, get this paint on and then you can kind of do your edges while the front part's drying. Because I do believe this front part has to be dry, right, sis? Mm, yes. I'm probably going to flip it over now because I'm going to be hitting the bottom of my easel here. So I'm going to flip that over. Hopefully there's not too much of a shine on that. And there is. So I'm going to try and fix that. Oh, let's do this. Is that better? That's better. Oh, now we're getting all, oh, now we're good. Okay. 
Just going to continue to add more black. This is the easy part. Actually, the whole painting is easy, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> the whole painting is easy, and it's loose, and it's fun, and <clears throat> honestly, when I painted this the first time, I was like, not even like, I had just the background on, and I was like, done. I love it. I'll hang that on my wall. <laughs> I was so excited. I'm pretty happy with that, guys. It's a nice transition from light to dark. Um, so now, at this point, it would be a good point to paint your edges. Which I'm going to sort of, I don't know if I will all the way, but I'll do a little bit of the paint in the edges. Notice as I paint my edges, I just kind of slap it on there. Hopefully you can see that. Shmar will tell me in about 20 seconds whether or not you guys can see that. There is a delay, so you can see now I went over the edge just a bit here, so I'm going to try and fix that. Well, we are going to come in, remember, at the very end, and oh, yeah, that's we'll right. frame it with the white. That's right. So if you come over the edge a little bit, that's totally fine. We're going to get messy. We're going to get messy. I can't see this side or the top really, so I'm just going to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Oh, the whole thing's moving. Stay. Yep, I'm sure it looks good. If I could see it, I'm sure it looked good. I'm going to do this side without looking. And see, this is my bottom. So my bottom's going to dry, and then I'll flip it over and I'll be able to do my top. <clears throat> Okay, so the sides and the bottom are painted. Now I gotta give it a second to dry so then I can flip it over. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush out. I don't know why, because I'm just gonna put more black paint on it, but it seemed like the thing to do at the moment, because it's a habit. Yeah, it looks pretty good on camera. How's everybody doing? Hi, Carson. <laughs> What's that say? Six. Six feet between painters. Sorry, I'm reading, I'm trying to, what I was talking about with the line. Oh, oh yeah. Schmar's got smart stuff to say shortly, so <laughs> <laughs> stand by for smart stuff about abstract paintings that I know nothing about. I am not really an abstract painter. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of a obsessive detailed nut to be completely honest with you. Shamar is better about just kind of going free and wild and all that good stuff and it is it really is fun if you can just let yourself go there not think too much about it and just kind of go with the flow it's a lot of fun top edge not visible <laughs> I'm sure it looks good Tracy but if you don't believe me we're gonna do a little it's gonna get real oh yeah okay no it doesn't look good all right I guessed I guessed wrong I'm gonna fix it because you said something and now okay so here we go let me fix that top part there okay there we go now I'm gonna try and flip this without getting paint everywhere it probably won't go well but and yes, I know my bottom's not dry yet, so don't do what I did. I'll probably touch it up later, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and flip it and uh, go ahead and add the black to the top. Like I said, if you come over the edge a little bit, it's okay because we're going to be adding some really cool stuff, abstract stuff, because that's what I call it, because I don't really know what it's called. <laughs> Again, um, 
shortly. I'm sure Shmar will be giving us some I'm sorry. smart stuff. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> she worked today. I did not. I messed around that my quiet house and did a live painting. Didn't go terribly wrong, but it was sideways. And so anybody who had to watch that, I, I'm sorry, and I will pay for your chiropractor fees. <laughs> <laughs> the whole kink of the neck sideways thing. Uh, Tracy was talking about doing sample cups instead of the bottles. That You know what? We thought about that originally when this whole thing started. I might have to back this up. I feel like, can you all see the whole thing? I don't know. I feel like I need to go backwards. Sorry, don't mind the, the movement. Okay. I'm also going to unplug this so that it doesn't heat up. Okay, ignore that. We're gonna wrap that here. We did think about the sample cups, but there's people that use a lot of paint, there's a little paint, and we weren't sure. It's hard to estimate, yeah, it's hard to estimate really how much paint somebody's gonna use. And uh, so that part was kind of tough. We didn't want somebody to be in the middle of a painting and run out of paint. Because we didn't give them enough paint. That would have been terrible. And you guys are going to keep painting anyway. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quit on us now. <clears throat> so, who's all painting with us tonight? I, I'm, I know Sarah's painting. Jody's painting. Who else is painting? Is Trisha painting? Is Trisha painting? Let me know. We're going to be using, oh yeah, just FYI, we're going to be using, this is the palette knife I'm going to use. You guys can kind of mess around with all of them and decide which ones you like. I personally like this one. It's kind of the longer one, longer, skinnier one. And this one's kind of my favorite. No, I lie. This is the one that Shamar told me to use. <laughs> I don't know. Stuff just comes out of my mouth. But really, That's the this, one I like. This is the one Shamar likes. Therefore, if she likes it, it must be good. So I like it too. Yeah. Yep. Or Trisha's painting. Sarah got her the kit. So. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. So you guys, let me know if I, I, I'm kind of waiting for my canvas to dry here. <clears throat> We're, we're getting closer. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. Um, so let me know when you guys are kind of dry. And we can go ahead and talk about the patterns if you want to bring that. Sure, other let's talk about the pattern. Quick. I'm going to bring hers up because hers is better than mine. Oh, whatever. Whatever. It's true. She okay. knows what she's doing. So you'll notice that even though it's all crazy and there's a whole bunch of things going on, that I do lay down all the textures basically in a horizontal or vertical lines and that's just to create symmetry um, visually you know pleasing to the eye symmetry yeah symmetry symmetrical <laughs> line yes see like, this is yeah this is where I kind of boo-booed on mine but no yours are so yours are mine yeah oh never mind I did it right yeah. yay me um, so you'll notice my, <clears throat> the, the bubble wrap, well, I go down to one side and the bottom and maybe a little bit on the top right corner right. and you guys can do it wherever you want, but just keep, I would keep them either hor horizontal or vertical. I, you can go diagonally, um, but when you're doing all these lines, you want to keep doing the same. The only ones that aren't exactly... <laughs> Horizontal or vertical are our cup lines. Right. As you can see, they kind of do that. And that was just kind of the last minute. Oh, let's add this in there and see what it looks like. <laughs> it kind of goes with the whole bubble wrap theme, you know, of a circle. Yeah. So it kinda, it totally works. I'm, you know, basically you probably add just about any kind of texture you wanted to this. And it would be really cool. Mm -hmm. So there's that. You guys can be looking for anything that gives you texture too, just around the house. Like forks or serrated cardboard or combs yeah saran wrap tin foil balled up oh um, yeah tin foil that one's cool i like that one we did that one. Oh, we did you did that one yeah never mind i didn't do anything and i've even used i've dug out all my cookie cutters looking for special shapes <laughs> pretty much yep so how we doing 
Yeah, you can actually see the hearts on the back. The Audrey Hepburn. Oh, yeah. Or the heart, the that bubble right there. wrap texture on it. And then heart cookie cutters. Heart cutter. cookie cutters. <laughs> Very cool. What are the texture ones we got in here? They're um, probably up on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm pointing. 20 seconds delay. Alrighty then. So, what is our next step? I can't remember. Is it bubble wrap? No. It's the white. No. No, it's what is the bubble it? wrap. It is the bubble wrap. Okay. So, for our next trick, <laughs> it's going to be bubble wrap. Now, this is going to be a trick because I'm going to try and keep it on the easel when I do this so you guys can see it properly. Um, but you guys may want to, if you're not painting with the easel or if you are, you may want to lay it flat. Now, for those of you that got kits with me, I tried to cut these pretty perfectly. Of course, because I'm not abstract. But anyways, yeah, I tried to cut these about this length. Um, so what we're going to do is, first I'm going to wait for you guys to tell me you're ready. Because I don't want to move on without you. Well, if they want it thinner, just put the paint on the bubbles thinner. Yeah, if you want it thinner, you only have to paint a portion of it. Like if you don't want to paint, because what we're going to do is we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to lay paint down on the bubble wrap. So if you don't want it as wide as this and you want it a little bit skinnier, then don't do quite as much. Just do the edge. Totally up to you. And the, the, the whole idea behind this is when we do paint it, we're going to kind of go like this on the canvas. We're going to go dark to light, but we're going to do it in a backwards way. So we're going to do dark on top down to a lighter gray on bottom. That way the, they show up when we stick them on the canvas. So is everybody with me? Can you scroll down? Oh, hi, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Okay, well, I am going to move this back just a touch because i got to paint my bubble wrap. Hopefully you guys can still kind of... You don't want it <clears throat> soupy on there, but you don't want it real light. You want a, yeah. a solid I'll coverage on your bubble wrap. I'll try and show you the right way. I'll do my best. So I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to lay my bubble wrap down here. You guys probably can't see that. So I'm going to move this down so you can. What? All right. Hello, Miss Kathy. You're, are you painting? You're not painting. Because you just joined. Next time. Mm. Well, you got, y'all can watch the replay too. Why do I do that? I don't know why I do that. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna start painting my bubble wrap. Unless I hear otherwise, I'm gonna stick with my big brush. So I'm just gonna dab, dab it on the paper towel here. You definitely don't want it watered down. You don't want a ton of water on this. You want mainly just paint. Of course, yours is a little bit more, um, I'm gonna add a little more black to my plate. Yours is probably, if you guys bought paint from us, you might have a thicker paint. So in that essence, you might want to add just a touch of water to it, but you don't want a ton. So I'm going to start at the top here, and I'm going to do a dark, darker gray. So I'm going to take my black. I don't want, I'm not going for straight black. I don't remember why, but I didn't want to do straight black. They can make it pretty dark. You can make it pretty dark. <laughs> okay, whatever she says. See, and I went to... Did I'm you go straight black? black? I went straight black, and then I brought in white, and then I mixed them in the middle. Oh, okay. See? What she I says. Just, yeah. So I am just going to brush this up, guys. I found that this kind of worked best. And we want the paint to still be wet when we finally get it to the canvas. So don't, you know, don't, like, obsess over this, guys. Just get the paint on there and go for it. I'm going to go ahead and paint that in there. Okay, now I'm going to lighten that up, like a lot and stuff. Hopefully you guys can see Jesus, me doing this. this. Video keeps hiccuping. Uh oh. Is it bad, Tracy? I'm just going, I'm transitioning from my dark to lighter gray as I come down.
Okay. So I got it on there. I missed a spot up here. Okay. So now I'm going to take, I may lay this flat. I was going to try it on the easel, guys, but I just don't know that it's going to work. So let's go ahead and move this down just a touch so y'all can see that, hopefully. Okay, now I am going to position this right on the edge here. This is not very often, just sporadically. Okay, it might be this new, because I'm trying to stream to both. Okay, so I set it down there, and now I'm just going to lightly kind of push it into the canvas. You want to make sure and leave the paint behind, but you don't want to go too hard. You don't want to pop bubbles. Don't be popping bubbles. And you don't want to squish the in-betweens under the... Yeah. Let me... I'm going to peek. Ooh, yeah. I kind of like that. Oh, there's a couple spots. As you're pulling it up and you it see that you missed something, you can... Yeah, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can have... There. We like that. All right. So that's what I ended up with. And now... I'm going to do the same thing down here on the bottom because I totally just smudged it. Only I'm going to move my this darker edge here that's not going to be seen as well. I'm going to bring on the lighter side here. Did you add more paint to that before you did it before? No. Okay, so I'm doing it right. Have to check. So we got bubble wrap up to the top, bubble wrap on the bottom. And then I do believe... I did add for the top because it got a little faded out. Okay. Which you guys will be able to tell. <clears throat> it's kind of like a stamp. You know, we're just stamping the paint on. So you can tell when you need more. I'm going to add just a touch more of this darker color here up on the top. Okay. And then I'm just going to put just the edge of this down. Can you see that all right? Well, we will here in just a minute. I think... I think they got the idea. Okay. I'm going to put it right there. The dark side. <laughs> dark side. Tap it on there. Pull that up. I like it. Okay. I'm going to set my bubble wrap aside. Yeah. I'm going to come back in with this. I'm repositioned here. And while we're wait waiting for that to just tack up just a little bit, you guys can also go and rinse your bubble wrap off. Yes. If you want to reuse your bubble wrap, by all means. I've it reused off. it after it dried and it's fine, but if you want to use it more than twice or three times. So this is what I ended up with. Uh, so something about like that. Sporadic, unfortunately not. Oh, that is cool. Love the bubbles. Me too. <laughs> I like it. And, you know, if Shamar weren't here to keep me under wraps, I'd probably put this crap all over the canvas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I tried to do that with the first one. <laughs> In fact, I did, didn't I? I went all the way all... Anyways, you, you can do it however you want to do it. But this is just kind of the first layer. And some of these areas are pretty thick, so it's going to take a minute to dry. So you guys go ahead and take your time, enjoy, rinse your bubble wrap, rinse your bubble wrap. you can just throw mine away. I'm too lazy for that crap. <laughs> uh, well, you might want to go home and do another one. Look, I cut all these for everybody else. I got a ton of them. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I might just do a completely bubble wrapped painting in one of these days. Oh, you know what would be cool? Like bu bubble wrapped... Um, background for like uh that uh, ladybug one we did you yeah. like have the like the light in the background yeah. mm, ideas i like it <clears throat> mm. may the fourth be with you that is right. That is tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Although, chances are I will completely forget and the whole day will go by and I will miss the opportunity to say that to somebody. So, I'm going to say it now. May the 4th be with you tomorrow. <laughs> we have cookies. I'm coming, Tracy. I'm coming. 
Uh, I found some cookies in my purse from the birthday party yesterday. There is pieces of cookie. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's always wonderful when you find cookies in your purse. <laughs> Um, you know what's the the worst thing to find in your purse? Like a flattened granola bar. But when you're really desperate and you're hungry, you'll eat it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Or a banana peel. That would be... Why would you put a <laughs> banana peel in your purse? Although, that reminds me. <laughs> oh, yeah, last day of school, I forgot to check the kids' backpacks. And their lunchbox. <laughs> That's gross. And I didn't find the dang thing until... <laughs> Was it a banana? It was a banana. A oh. whole banana. It, you can't imagine. I didn't find it until right before school was starting. Like, literally the day before when I was, you know, doing my last minute prep for the beginning of first day of school. Found that rotten banana. Oh. It was horrible. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was. It didn't even smell like a banana anymore. Huh. Yeah. Don't leave bananas in weird places. <laughs> Revenge of the Fifth. I didn't know that. I love it. Today's Revenge of the Fifth. No, it's the third. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Today is not the fifth. <laughs> what do you got for the third, Tracy? <laughs> May <Mayage. laughs> Oh, God, I love it when I say stupid things. <laughs> Shamar does too. Mm. Uh, you guys with us? How you guys doing? There's me laughing in my gross feet. <laughs> These are your gross feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you guys are with us and ready to rock and roll. What's our next step? The next step, I'm thinking here. I don't know. Shamar's got to tell me because I keep forgetting. Is it the white? Yeah, okay, so the next step, we're going to play with our palette knife and kind of get used to the idea. Don't worry, anything that you do with the palette knife, we will be able to cover up if you mess up. Trust me. But then, really, there's really no such thing as a mess up. I'm going to give you an idea here. So, what we're going to do with our palette knife is we're going to come in and see this white stuff in the background? We're going to add that stuff in. Now, there was a couple of times, like down here, where I got a little wild with my palette knife had too much white on there and I thought it was the end of the world. Turns out it was totally fine because I came back later and fixed it. So just Sweet. FYI. You know, it looks fine as is. It does. But you know, you just, you know, you add more texture to it and and it just kind of goes. I like the fact that there's white there now. Anyways, so I don't like those. Okay. Sounds like a plan. You find it. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the palette knife is I'm going to start with a fresh plate. So I'm just going to add straight white to my fresh plate. And you guys, I encourage you, if you you have something to practice on, you can practice on that. Um, or less is more, so you start with little and then slowly kind of, once you kind of get used to the idea of what you're doing with the palette knife, then you'll be more comfortable with it. Hey, Kate, I see you've joined. Why aren't you painting? Where's Paula? I thought for sure we were going to have a Paula tonight. This is right up your guys' alley. So, like I said earlier, this is the palette knife of my choice. Because it's Shamar's choice, and whatever Shamar says goes. So, this is what I'm going with. Like I said, guys, this is, I have not used a palette knife a ton of times. So, this will be fun. So the first things first, what you kind of do is, I, I, I was supposed to make a line of paint, but I didn't, so now I'm going to use my palette knife to make a line. Okay. Hey. So I'm already, I'm sure I'm already messing it up. Okay, so I make a line, so I got this line, and I'm kind of getting it so there's a little bit of paint on the edge. Now like I said, you guys can experiment first, but the idea is to do horizontal and vertical lines here. So I'm going to do one kind of right off to the side here just to kind of give you an idea. I'm going to put this line on here. So I'm putting the paint on. See? And now I'm going to pull the paint across. See how it just kind of pulls across like this? 
and it makes that really cool obnoxious noise on the canvas it's cool right so now I'm going to add just a little bit more paint and I'm going to go the other way see how that works you got this cool little whatever you want to call it that's all right I also noticed Paula's not painting. I've seen Kate join, but I haven't seen Paula yet. Okay, so I got my first little line on there. Now, let's see. I might do, maybe I'll do one over here that's kind of right there. So first part is I get a little paint on my edge. I lay the paint on, and then I pull it. Less is more until you kind of get the idea of it. And then what you can do you can take and do a straight line down get the paint on there and then pull it what do we call these things there's a great word for it what's it called skid marks these are skid marks <laughs> I like oh, the term yeah. skid marks so I got this so this is this idea of what we're gonna do and see I'm I'm dabbing my palette knife into my paint I don't have a ton on there so I'm just kind of starting with it a little bit and then I'm going to make my line down and then I'm going to pull it over. See how I'm doing that? So experiment you guys. I'm going to add a little bit more here. Pull it this way. Oops, see I got a little out of control there but that's okay. We like that. And what I'll probably do is I'm going to add a horizontal line now bring that up and this is the part where you guys are you're this being, is a free-for-all yep this is the part where you're just being creative adding it wherever you want to some of my bubble wrap areas are not quite dry yet so I'm kind of avoiding those areas but then again let's see what happens it might smear a little bit it might be cool or it might not but you know what we're about to find out or it may not make a difference whatsoever <laughs> Go this way. Yep, there's a little smearage. Smearage is cool. So I'm going to bring one all along this line up here. I don't know why. Just because. You can pull it down as far as you want. So there may be areas where if you have a little bit more paint, you can pull it further. Pull it out further. Or a lot further. Now I'm gonna work with that. I'm gonna do stuff with it. Yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing with black. And then at the very end I also go over, I guess, with highlights with the white and go on top so it kind of works everything in. So I dab dab. You're just joining us. Add a little paint and then pull it out. Uh, I just, yeah, I just like to grunge it up. <laughs> yep. And now there's also a technique where I've got a little bit of paint on the back of my palette knife. I just kind of dab it on there, just like that, flat. And then, I hope I do this right. You can start on the side if you're... Okay, if I'm nervous, <laughs> I'm going to start over here because I'm nervous. I'm just going to go kind of, barely kind of a, an angle here, and I'm going to pull it out. And then as you pull it out, you go flat, and you get that, yeah, you get that. It's just kind of messy. I like to call it skin marks, but... Or she, gritty. Gritty. Gritty is a good word. See that grittiness there? I like gritty. I'm keeping it. I like coming from the edge here. I like that. I like that look. So I'm just dabbing it on my plate. Getting a little paint on there. And bring it out. What's up? Trisha ran out of white. Oh no! I see more things on here. Hmm? She's gonna do yellow. Ooh, you should. That would be cool. I 
Monday. Can't paint tonight. Aww. Yep, she's remodeling her pantry, so don't get too sad for her. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> Can you come remodel mine when you're done? See, I like that. Mom's on here. Hey, Mom! I'm out of my comfort zone. You see how I'm going across this edge? I like that. It's all about just kind of messing around with it and then deciding that you like it and doing more of it, which is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to come up here. I'm still dabbing on my plate. I got a little bit of paint here. I'm going to put it along this edge and then I'm going to pull it down. You guys, this is going to whole, open up a whole new world for you. Yeah, because it gets exciting when you like start to play with textures and different... Yeah, it does. I know I do. I get excited. And it's nice doing a painting where you don't have a picture that you're looking at that it's supposed to look like. You can just do whatever you want with it. And then anytime I want to do another line, I just take and kind of dab dab like this. I create my, let's see, I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to come this way. So I got my, and now I'm going to pull it down or up. Like that. See, I think this was about the point where I was like, Sold. I'm ready to hang it up. I'm going to flip this over, guys, because I need to get my bottom part. So I'm going to flip this. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did up here. Uh, I mean, down. Uh, it, it, never mind. <laughs> it don't make any sense. Okay, so I'm going to come across here. Just add a little bit more paint to that. I'm going to up and down, up and down. And some skid marks. The more flat you go, the more skid marks you're going to have. That got a little crazy, but I like it. Uh, I like doing this whole edge thing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to come along my edge. I'm just kind of edging it in and I'm pulling it out, making it flat. Let's see, I'm going to put this. And again, I'm staying horizontal and vertical. It's all about symmetry. Wait, see, I got a lot of paint on there, and I know that's going to end terribly if I go too crazy with it. So I'm going to pull some of that Nothing off. Nothing ends terribly here. Okay. Nothing ends terribly. Remember, says. we're going to add some black too. Right. We're going to do the same thing but black here. How you guys doing? Let me know. I'm gonna bring this down here. Not much happened in there. There we go. I'm gonna do this. That effect is so cool. Isn't it cool? Like I am in love with this. I'm gonna add some. And I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. So I am probably gonna leave that. 
except for this. <laughs> this is another thing. When I start, I have a tendency to just not be able to stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit more up here. Okay. Yeah. So fun! I can tell Shamar wishes she was painting right now. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I'm just gonna sit over here and eat my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I legit am gonna stop now. We get to do it again with black. But we get to do it again with black, guys. This is going to be so awesome. So I'm going to let this dry for a second. And then I think the next step is laying on our poppies, right? Black. No, black. Oh, we're going to do the black first before we do the poppies. <laughs> yeah. My bad. The next step is we're going to do the same thing with black. But I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to have mixing going on there. Let's see. I'm going to grab this plate because I already have black on it. So I'll probably just use that. What did I do with my black? Ouch, that was my head. Oh, I moved it for you. Oh, thank you. How are y'all doing? Everybody's doing good. Hi, sweet. Hi, Mom. I don't know where my one is. <laughs> Your what? Your what? The original. I, I may have stolen her original and taken it home. No, I, we had it earlier. Wait, is it over here? No? No? Sorry, no, guys. No, it was right here. Back. I moved it last night. So, like, I forget it's this. It's, it's behind the cabin. <laughs> I can see it. All right, we found the original, guys. So, the original was originally on, or was originally on in 11 by 14. Um, this is the original, so it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. This is the one I fell in love with, and I was like, we have to paint that. And so, I think the, the last one that I did, I used green oxide when I made my turquoise. So this time, I decided I'm going to try it with the light green permanent, which I put both of those in. Most of you probably have this one versus this one anyways. Um, this is the student acrylic paint that we use for our classes. It's a little bit, it's more of a natural tree green where I am kind of trying to shoot for a brighter turquoise color. So I'm going to use the light green permanent tonight when we mix our turquoise. But I was just going to say when we have the extra paint on our, our... Oh yeah, and that's another thing too. As, as we transition between each color, in fact the white too, if you guys wanted to, um, Notice how she kind of adds those colors to the edges, too. Hopefully you can see that. She just uses the palette knife to add those colors to the edges. So if you want to, if you're kind of waiting for this to dry, you can add some palette knife edges to the sides there, and that kind of creates a cool, mm -hmm. a cool look as well. Yeah, I was just using the extra paint that I had and just running it. So I was cleaning my, my palette off on the side of my canvas basically. And literally what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab, 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 and then I'm just going to run it along the side like this just to create. Ah, sorry. So I'm just going to run it along the sides like this to kind of create that different look. You don't need much. I don't have much paint on there, but it just kind of messes it up a bit. Coming back in here. Okay. Normally I like to keep my edges black, but instead of if I'm doing this, then I like to just take all the extra. It's another excuse to use your palette knife. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. Okay. okay. I, can't really, I can't really see it, but I'm sure it's going to look cool when I finally get a chance to look at it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, you know what? I just realized it's still upside down. So yeah, I'm going to have to flip that back over. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe we'll do the black first and then I'll flip it over. So I think for the most part I am dry. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing that we just did, only we're going to do black. Only Are we going to do less? I did a little less. We do a little bit less. 
with the black. Um, so basically, you can wash your palette knife. Me, I'm just wiping it off on this paper towel. And I'm going to go ahead and do a line of black. If you want a clean plate, go ahead and grab a clean plate. Um, so I say I'm a lot. I'm sorry. So first, I'm going to kind of do the same thing I did before. So I'm just putting a little paint on my edge here. Dab dabbing it in my line of paint. And we're going to test her out. Yeah. Test it out. That line wasn't exactly horizontal. So we're going to come out and flip it around and go back this way. I don't know. Yeah. I'm liking that. And now I'm going to come dab dab and create my line here. I think I flip it around. I don't know why it's not getting me when I'm not doing it. <laughs> Is it going to make your skin crawl a little bit? <laughs> when you're not actually doing it. I'm going to put another one up here. So I'm, I'm going to try not to get too carried away, but it's going to be difficult. I'm just warning you now. I'm going to come in and right over the top there. Oh, I got a little carried away there. That's okay. We're going to make it look cool by spreading it out. And then, again, with the, uh, what did I call them? Skid marks. Mm -hmm. Just very gentle. Skid marks, skid marks. And I've even used the, that technique to make some of my um, portraits look more vintage or like they might have been like a folded piece of paper with my lines. Ooh, right. Sky's the limit here. I guess it gives the illusion of it. It's not a full on grid. But fix that. My line. And if you guys aren't liking one area, we're just gonna put a giant poppy there. Yeah. <laughs> I might put a giant poppy right there because I did a little not so or I'm gonna just fix it. That's more of my style. Sarah said this is her new favorite way to paint. Yay! Right, you guys are going to be digging through your kitchens like... Looking for anything <laughs> that will create more texture. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did with my white on the edges here. I'm just going to dab dab on the back so i got some paint on here. And I'm just going to kind of slowly kind of... Bring it around the edge here. Maybe not everywhere. <clears throat> we did a really cool sunflower with this abstract style. We might have to do it again for a tutorial. One of Shamar's originals. It was awesome. Yeah, really kind of need yellow oxide for that. Oh yeah, that one does take yellow oxide. Bring this around. Good mark it down.
those. And remember, if you go flat, you get this skid mark. You just don't want a ton of paint on there. Like, I got very little paint on here. And I'm just lightly doing this skid mark thing across. When you get too much paint, you can wipe it off and come back. There you go. I like that look. Okay, I'm going to flip mine over because I want to do the other side now. I'm going to flip it. See, right here, I would totally just hang it just like that. <laughs> You'd be like, done. Artwork complete, yo. No one would believe that I even did it. <laughs> <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> Do more line here, gentle. Sorry guys, I'm concentrating. Sure, I see sticks and stuff if I break my bones, but pals and eyes excite me. <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> so now you guys are going to be much more comfortable when we start to do our flowers. And you can even, sorry to throw this in here, but just do a couple lines. Like, you, they don't even have to be spread out. Like, just a line. Yeah. See, looks cool, just like that. Okay. And then come up here, do some skid marking down. Roll it on the edges. Are you having fun? I, I'm, I'm thoroughly <laughs> enjoying myself. I actually forgot a couple seconds ago that there's even a camera going on here. So, sorry, I was kind of into it. It's one thing, like, don't be afraid to try something new. You might not think that you're going to like it, or it's not your style, and then it turns out it's like the best thing ever. Or it just teaches you how to be a lot more loose. You know, I, like I said, I have a tendency to be very obsessive, compulsive with my detail. Um, or, you know, creating the pattern as you go. And yeah, and just kind of going with the flow versus um, planning the whole thing out ahead of time. Today, I did a live um, that went sideways. But anyways, um, I did this live today. And, um, I, I didn't plan it. I scrolled through my phone five minutes before I started to figure out what I was going to paint. And then I just started throwing the paint on there. And, um, it's kind of freeing. And painting like this has a tendency to free you up a little bit more. Okay. I'm content and happy with what I got going on there. 100%. I'm ready to just hang it on the wall as it is. This would be a good time for the cup. The cup. This is a if good time for the cup. the cup. If you guys want to do the cup. Did we just do straight white with the cup? I did. Or, yeah. Okay. And what I do is I don't get the whole cup. Right. That's right. I okay, I remember three now. Three quarters of it. Okay, so. So it just kind of looks like somebody set their cup down and mm -hmm. left a watermark. I love it. Me too. I'm glad you agree, Trisha. Okay, so if you guys are using a cup, um, this would be a good time for it once you get your black on there. Um, this is about the size that I'm using. 
It's what do you call these? Like little drink cups? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> plastic, paper. You can um, use You can even cup use too. like a, a larger solo cup. You want to hand me one of them solo cups? Or even a kitchen cup because it'll come right off. Kitchen cup, any kind of cup. Any kind of cup because it does wash off. I might even go for the bigger one just to do something different. Or maybe I'll do both. I don't know. We're going to start with the little one though because I don't want to overdo it. Um, so I've got just straight wine on my plate. Yeah, I, just, I would just go there. And I am just going to do just a portion of this edge. I'm going to just, not all of it, and then I'm going to test it out here. Let's see, we'll put one right here. So you get this little half circle going on there. I don't know, it looks cool. Why not? Like I said, I like it because it looks like somebody put their drink on it. And yes. Again, it would be really easy for me to cover the entire canvas in this because, you know, why not? Add some drama. Do a little bit off the edge here. And you'll notice the more you do that it tends to look a little patterned. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> whatever. So I'm It's really hard to, not to do a pattern. It is, because, because your eyes automatically yeah. see a pattern. So... I'm going to do a little bit down here, and then I'm going to call it good before I get too carried away. Okay, wait, one more. One more on the bottom here. Just like that. Okay. Voila! I don't know why I'm wiping off the plastic cup, but I just felt the need to. So now i got this cup thing going on there. You guys like that? That was fun. Just something extra. Just a little something else. Trust me, I could get completely carried away doing little extras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks good up there. Yay. Looks good. All right. Let me know, guys. Are you with me? I can't see that, right? There you go. I'm putting it on the corner. Um... So the next step, the next steps are poppies, right? Yep. Oh, right. The next step is actually our poppies. So what I'm probably going to do is prep for that. What do I do with the cobalt blue? Oh, it's right Oh, it's right there. Okay, so for my, this is my little cup rings kind of have to. Having so much fun. Oh, oh yay. I'm so glad, Sarah. So Trish is painting with you. Are your kids painting? I know you mentioned having your kids paint with you, too. So this still has to dry. My cup lines still have to dry. Because they're, I kind of put on that. <laughs> I put that on a little bit thick. Just a touch. So I'm going to let those dry for a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and put my paint down. Because I'm going to get an idea for my turquoise. So I'm using a cobalt blue. And then I'm also using this light green permanent. Now you can use any green or blue you have. Um, but you're going to get a lighter, I got green all over my hands here. You're going to get a nice bright turquoise if you use a lighter blue as opposed to a darker blue like phthalo or ultramarine. Um, cobalt or primary would probably work just fine too. So I'm gonna, it just wants to spurt right out of there. It sure does. It's eager. It's <laughs> eager to leave the bottle. Okay, so I've got my green and my blue. I'll be mixing that, and I'll probably, I'll probably mix with a paintbrush. I think last time I went full blown and just did palette knife. I don't know. Maybe I should do that again too. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's a little difficult to. It's sometimes it's <laughs> tough to mix your colors with a palette knife. I'm not gonna lie, it is difficult. Um, so it's, if you yeah. want to use um, a brush, I would use a smaller, maybe half inch flash, flash, flat brush to mix your colors. Or you can try it out with this and, you know, see if it works. I'm going to take just a minute, though. Potty we break. Have, <laughs> uh, we don't have a, a code word for... We have no code word for a drink tonight. But I'm not going for a drink. I'm going to the bathroom. This, what's the code word for that? She ain't got nothing. I got nothing. Tracy, I need a code word. Using three poppies. Yes. For a oh, turquoise color, right? Yes. And if I she see did, now that... Yeah. Hmm? What do you suggest if she has a purple? 
I mean, uh, I mean, a uh, yellow. I was gonna suggest purple. What's the color we use after? Hmm. If you have a yellow up there, purple might look really cool with it, actually. Uh oh, she says. What colors do you got, lady? Trisha? So basically, the poppies, I start with the darker turquoise first, and then I lay in some different shades. Um, and then I add in a little bit of this a deep yellow kind of to the center of my poppies, just a tiny little bit. Um, and regular yellow about a magenta. Magenta would be cool. So you've got, so your white is yellow now. Is it kind of a darker yellow? Is it a brighter yellow? Because I'm thinking even a magenta or even an, like a magenta mixed with yellow to create like a, a little bit of an orangey yellow. That would be really cool color poppies and they would be really bright. Magenta with yellow to create like an orange. Maybe mix that color and see what it looks like on your plate. Because um, that would be really cool for poppies. Deeper yellow. Yeah, the deeper yellow. Try deeper yellow mixed with magenta. I don't know if they have deeper, deep yellow. Did she just said she had deeper yellow. Oh. I'm reading the comments. Yo. Sorry. <laughs> oh, and I see Jen. Hey, Jen. Niffer. Hmm, code word for pee break. Yes, Tracy, we need a code word for pee break. And Sarah. They're not painting with you. Well, how dare they? Where are they? Oh. No, sorry, we weren't paying attention. We're catching up on comments now. <laughs> so yeah, mix that deeper yellow with your magenta and see what that looks like. And I may just... I'm going to take this aside. I have to wrap it real quick. See what she says on that. Be right back. Music. <laughs> oh, I love it. I pretended I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. Some elevator music. Right. Well, now you're going to get his heavy breathing because <laughs> I heard you run to the stairs. I ran up and down the stairs. Talked to your kids about the sandwiches they were eating. We had a whole conversation about turkey. That happened really fast. All right. Okay. So, where are we at? Whoo! Mississippi, Mississippi River. Oh, Trish said a shishi. A what? A shishi? What's a shishi? Shishi. <laughs> Trish is shishi. I'm like that. Hey, why don't we, yeah, you pick whatever you want to okay, do Okay, let's do, let's do a shishi for a drink and Mississippi River for a pee break. Whew. All right. Back to it. Okay, so. I am going to mix a turquoise to start for my poppies. And I'm going to try and use the palette knife to do this. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab a chunk of that blue. As you can see, my green is a little bit thicker. So I'm going to grab that, mix those it's together. To cut it in. Yeah. Like uh. cut and smush, cut and smush. Cut and smush, she says. Now she tells me. <laughs> So we're gonna I make sure I wanted to see what you, how you were gonna do it. Well, I don't know. Is there really? I don't know. But if it's loose, I got it'll be way too much too. green there. So, but that's okay. That might be cool. See here, I got this greener. I got this real pretty dark turquoise color. 
Because we started with like a dark, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Like more of a green dark. Okay, so I'm going to start with that and see what it looks like. Maybe a little bit more blue. Maybe a touch of white. I'm going to try a touch. Ooh, look at that. That's party. I'm done. Still more green. All right, a little bit more in there. Oh, now I went too far. See, this is what happens. I get too excited. Okay. All right. That is, I like that. Okay. So, now I got to try to remember how to do this. All right, so, they're called smiley faces. This is how we're going to start. So, we're going to add some paint to the back of our palette knife. Like so. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she says yes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of pick your areas where your poppies are going to be. Now I don't want anything centerized because I don't want my eyes drawn to the center. I just want to kind of go crazy with it. So I'm going to start. This is a good spot for a poppy. So now what you're going to do is it's called a smiley face. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to circle. And as I circle, I'm laying my... See how that kind of, okay, so you circle, and as you circle, you kind of lay your palette knife flat, you bring it up to make that smiley face. You see my smiley face right there? Yes, it's not perfect, but that's the whole point. That's why we use the palette knife. <laughs> <laughs> and the black when we go back, and we, we'll add the middle of the flower. And it, you, black you may and not see it now, but trust me, it's coming. If, okay? if our poppies didn't have an outline, they would not look like what they were. Yeah. So then I'm going to come here. I'm going to make another smiley face. Maybe kind of go in this direction. Maybe a little less brush. See that smiley face? Brush. It's not a brush. It's a palette knife. So you got a smiley face there. I'm just doing smiley faces at the moment. And then I'm going to do sad faces. I'm going to come up here. We're going to do another sad, I mean smiley face. Gosh, I can't even talk right. <laughs> She's laughing at me. I'm sorry. That's all right. You can laugh all you want. Okay, so we got some smiley faces going on here. Did we add the frowny faces right after the smiley faces, or did we do all the smiley faces first? You can do it however you want. You can do it however you want. But I'll show you what a, a so then when you want to add your frowny face, you're going to come in. You still got the paint on the back. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of push. It's hard to explain this, guys. <laughs> I see what you mean. So I've got some paint on here. And I'm going to start kind of on the edge. But then as I go, I'm going to start to flatten it out to give it that look. If you end up not quite finishing your frowny face, you come in and you add a little bit more. A little bit more. And you get this frowny face. And smiley face. And I'm going to kind of paint that in a little bit with the back of my palette knife. Just kind of fill that area in. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to add frowny face up here. I don't think I'm getting enough paint on the back no, of my thing. No, but you know, I'm liking that, the, the texture that you were getting too with that too. Okay, so. So I'm adding these, they almost look like lips. They do, don't they? They almost look like lips. I didn't notice that. She's like, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yours look like lips. Mine look like lips. <laughs> Hers <laughs> not so much. Well, you know what? One looks like a boat. All right. One Boats are like good. Lips. Okay, so then I'm going to add, I'm going to do another, another, oops. I was supposed to do smiley face first. All right, you can do franny face first. Whatever floats your boat, okay? I'm just telling you. And they can even leave them. It's not even a whole yep. smiley mm -hmm. frown face. I'm going to kind of come in here and, yeah, and I'm going to leave it a little crazy like that. Paint with a palette brush. Palette knife. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, let's put another one down here. And do smiley face first because it's easier. I'm not sure I'm getting enough paint. If you're not getting enough paint, mix a lot. And mix then. a lot, because I didn't mix very much. Okay. And then I'm gonna, there we go. 
Okay, so then we have these little buds that are going on. And there's really no special way to do no, these buds. No, I think what I did was when I put the tip on and then I flattened it out. Okay, so. So the, I drug the tip and then flattened it so it came out and kind of a elongated. And I messed this up. See, mixing with a palette knife is not easy, guys. Okay, so we're going to mix remix this color a little bit. Okay, so what she do, did, she's got some paint on the back here. And then what we're going to do is, there's really no wrong or right way to do this, so I'm going to just kind of go like this. Yep, perfect. Like that. See? It's just like this thing there. I know it looks like a thing now, but it'll look cooler later. I'm going to put one up here. These are your buds. These are going to be the poppies that aren't quite open. The antisocial ones. The antisocial ones. And they're kind of wider on one edge. You see how they're wider on one edge and they kind of go to a point here? Mine do not look like this. <laughs> Mine do not look like this. <laughs> Sarah's. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I don't know. Wherever you think another one should go. I don't want to be too symmetrical. I'm trying to stay away from symmetry here. I got that. I got that. This is a little bit more green than my other one, which is cool. So you don't even have to do it all in the same place. You can just add a couple of yeah. scuff marks that is that color. Yeah, that's another thing too. If you got a little bit of paint on, you can just add a little A little bit of color here and there. Some. Oh, got a little crazy there. <laughs> Better make that a full length. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose, y'all. <laughs> I didn't mean to quite go that crazy, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fix that right now. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it. You don't have to fix eh, it. We'll leave it for now. It'll be it'll be a cool long thing. Bud. It'll be a thing there. Yeah. Okay. You're fine. All right. So then at this point, that has to dry. But we got our beginning abstract poppy field going on there. Everybody with us? <laughs> Mine do not look like this. <laughs> Mine. Oh, yeah. Well. They maybe we'll before yeah, this one looks like a lip. You even got like the contour red too. Well, there's but that. there's okay all these. Mhm. Mm so Shamar is just pointing out if you want to if if they're if you're like me and you, you have a tendency have to, do that. to I understand mine don't look like lips. Right, I know it doesn't matter <laughs> what they look like, but I want to mess these up just a little bit. So I'm gonna come in here on my edges. You see where I have, it's too uniform. I'm just going to come in here and smear it just a little bit. I'm not using a ton of paint. I don't know what happened to my paper towel. You can use the side of your canvas. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Add some color to the side of your canvas if you're at it. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here and lightly kind of scuff up my edges because I don't want it to be quite so. Ooh, I like that. Almost like they're dripping. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, because you guys were going to add some black lines to it later. And that'll just kind of draw in where the poppies are. My, yeah, my poppies aren't even colored in the lines. I mean, I just put the lines everywhere. I'm really just to get an idea of scrubbing some of this color along the sides here, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't even see it. But I'm sure it's going to look cool later when I look at it. I like that. Let's see what else can I do. Oh, yeah, I just want to keep going. <laughs> what else can I do? Here we go. Oh, yeah, we'll make that drippy. Drippy, drippy. <laughs> Oopy, drippy. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. 
Until um, five seconds passes and I want to change it some more. Do you remember the first time you did a paint pour? I know. Yeah. I'm gonna do this again too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Anyway, so what's next? You can either go over to just your color is pretty solid though. And there's some buffs. Yeah. I can add a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And then what I did was I just took the yellow and I um dabbed it into the middle okay. where I was going to say the middle one. So if you have some spots where your canvas is poking through, you can kind of cover that up. Whoa, not with white though, guys. <laughs> Don't do that. That's so funny. <laughs> I told you I was going to make a fool of myself. No, You're we're gonna, doing a great job, yeah, Sasha. Oh, she's so sweet. I love it. Okay, so we're going to just, yeah, we're going to take that. We're just gonna try and make that go away. Well, why don't you just make that a, a smiley face lip right there with that color? Then one is just a little different. Or I can just cover it up. Sort of. Okay. So, yeah, we're just gonna cover that up a little bit. Okay, so when you come in for these, like the bottom parts, you add a highlight, right? The bottom parts? The oh, this part where you come across? Yeah. Well, I didn't do it with the red. Your red was awfully light. Like. <laughs> about these lips. What about paint blobs? Paint blobs are perfect. See, I cha I transformed mine into paint blobs okay. because yeah. they were too mi too lippy. So now I'm just kind of adding... Huh? Quick. Show them the end thing real quick so they get what they were saying. Because we're going to do this and we're not going to go on the... We're not going to color in lines. Okay. We're going to make it real floppy. So FYI, notice how these look nothing like lips. <laughs> and you notice how basically towards the end, we're going to come in with these black lines to kind of create the idea of the poppies. And they're not going to be perfected. They're going to be real kind of sloppy and abstract. And that's all it needs really to make it look like a poppy. So if you're worried about your lips or non-lips looking like blobs and not lips, or blobs, well, you, did, you know what I mean. You did the same thing if they want to see it. Yeah, I did the same thing on mine. These little lines kind of create the idea that these are poppies. So, don't stress, or guys. Or flowers. I mean, they don't even technically have to be poppies. They can be whatever you want them to be. So, FYI, that's what we're going to eventually go for. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to cover up some of these areas where Does I like didn't quite eye? get all the way through. Huh? <laughs> it could be a, a bouquet of eyes. Could be, they, it could be a bouquet of creepy <laughs> eyeballs, too. I mean, totally fine. Whatever you think it looks like. I'm just kind of fixing some of that. I'm sticking with a palette knife. I'm proud of myself. I didn't even switch up to mix my paint and it can, you can feel you can see it okay so like legit we're gonna come in lighter color here I mean I this one I had this one I highlighted but I had two different blues okay so, so I'm going to create a little bit lighter of a turquoise here so I've got this turquoise that I've got going on on my plate yeah. And I just really did just do the fronts on the one side, just yeah. Real, a real I'm gonna add side. a little bit of blue, and I'm gonna add a little bit more white to it. It's okay. And a little bit more blue. Hers needs to dry because it has a lot of paint. I paint. That's really totally well. I fine. I paint wet too. Well, yeah, we kind of paint wet on wet too. It's totally up to you. Um, I am just going to create so this lighter turquoise so you guys can see what the plan is here. So what I'm trying to do is create this front lip. So the idea is that you have a front lip and then you have the back of a flower. So I'm just going to use this and I'm going to kind of bring it along here. That's not quite light enough so I'm going to make it a little bit more lighter because I want you to see it. Okay. So I'm going to bring this lip along here. You see how there's that lip now 
right along there. And bring this lip right along here. And bring it along here. It's like a smiley face in the center there. If you need to pull some of that color down, you can. I'm going to make a lip right along here. So there's these little lips. Shamar abandoned me, so I'm going rogue. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to come back here and make this lip here. I really like this color. And you can totally let it dry. Um, mine is still wet, so it is possible to keep going with wet. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to my plate though. I'm kind of going for a little bit bluer, brighter color here. Just to kind of change it up. Still using a palette knife here. So proud of myself. Add a little bit more blue to that. Yeah. And now this lighter blue, I'm going to come in over the top of these buds. Just create a little bit more. Just another color added into them. Not in really any way. Does that look all good? I guess so. And I might come back over some of these spots where I added. See, I'm getting crazy now. lighter blue in here. I might as well just add it to this little spot down here. Just a couple spots in here. So we got this lighter blue going with your turquoise. Trust me, it will all come together, especially when we put in that black. And we'll kind of do a rough it up in the end too. So at this point, if you have any of these colors that you feel like, let's make them look like they're bleeding, <laughs> you can kind of pull some of it down. Just using the tip, you can pull some of it down. Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I said that. I'm back. Oh, she's back. We missed her so much. Okay. I told him, I said, you're not here to tell me I'm doing it wrong, so I'm you're just going to do what I want. <laughs> So I'm you a some of these flavor. spots here. Oh wow, that's interesting. She 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 she. We get so another she she. she. So uh, where I have the paint kind of thick here, just very lightly, just using the edge of my palette knife to kind of just pull some of it down, just to kind of get almost. I like that look that it's dripping down my face. Canvas. It's a canvas. Just FYI, um, because I think it looks cool. <laughs> And it breaks it up a little bit. Breaking it up, dripping it down. I like it. Tell me that doesn't look cool. Mine's totally looks great. Different. I told you to tell me it doesn't look cool. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, where are you guys at? How we doing? Hey, just stop it in the set. Debbie, you are missing out on a good time. Mm-hmm. We are having a good, good time here. I'm currently dripping my poppies down the canvas because I think it looks really cool. The next step, Shmar, why don't you tell us what the next it's step the is? Yellow pollen. Is it the pollen? Or I thought that went over the black. Mm. Maybe the black first. Mm -mm. We did the black la very last. It looks like the yellow's last. Well, I might have touched it up. 
because I painted it really wet. But yeah, we can add yellow last. Okay. Okay, so let's do the black next. Okay. Okay. So our next step is going to be the black. The black that brings it all together, I promise you. We did some darker in the center here, though, didn't no. we? We didn't? Uh, no, because I painted it really wet. Oh. And it smeared. Oh, okay. Let me look at mine in there. Because I feel like I did it darker in the center, but maybe I didn't. No. <laughs> oh, I did kind of a lighter around the edge there. Huh. I didn't realize I did that. So if you wanted to take some of this lighter color, it looks like I kind of went up around this edge here. Just a little bit. A little bit up around this edge. I don't have very much on there. A little messy like. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now our next step is going to be the black. So I'm going to let this dry for just a second. I got a little thick on here. If you have any other areas that you want to um, make drippy drippy, go for it. Otherwise, you can use whatever color you still have left here to do your sides and add a little bit of that color to your sides, which is what I'm going to do. I'm almost out on here. Okay, so I'm going to add some of this to my sides. So I'll show you what it looks like. It looks real. You guys see that? Yeah, looks cool. Okay. Mm hmm. Alrighty then. How's everybody doing? Are we liking this? Looking good. It looks amazing. See, Daddy? You're going to have to watch the replay and do this. Uh, wasn't this the one that she <laughs> She didn't want to do Yeah, yeah, bag of tea yeah and... she didn't want to do this one. <laughs> but it actually is really fun. I know you're very similar to me and you're kind of a detailed kind of person, but it's actually very freeing, very relaxing to just kind of go with the flow. Do you want a sandwich? A sandwich? Oh, sweet. Turkey sandwich, yo. These are like the smallest sandwiches I've ever seen. <laughs> Small sandwich. Mm. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh, you didn't tell me that. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. It's actually still good because I'm hungry. I know, right? But <laughs> you guys, tell me in the comments: Miracle Whip or mayonnaise? No. <laughs> Looks like little puppy spaceships. <laughs> they do, Mom. Drippy poppy spaceships. <laughs> Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You can have the other one. Are you sure? Yeah, but I'm not sure of my Funyuns. Oh man. <laughs> she got Funyuns too, yo. She don't want to share. It's been ages since I've had a Funyun. Do they still taste the same? Mm-hmm. This is going to be really crunchy. Mayo. I agree, Tracy. 100%. Yep. And so is it mayo. Mm-hmm. My husband made the, that, so that's why it's a miracle. <laughs> we don't complain when our man makes a sandwich, though. I don't. I don't really complain, period, but... Depends on the sandwich. <laughs> totally. Well. Okay, well, this in this instance, we have a turkey cheese sandwich. It's good regardless. <laughs> I need to stop talking with my mouth full. I'm waiting for my 
hot piece to dry. Had this conversation yesterday. It's a, it's a very important conversation. <laughs> Nobody makes you a sandwich, Tracy? Well. Turkey cheese needs honey and mustard. Mmm. That actually sounds really good. <laughs> Shamar doesn't think so, but I do. Oh. A miracle whip? <laughs> oh. Miracle whip. We got a miracle whip. We got a couple mayonnaises. All day, every sandwich. <laughs> Girl likes her miracle whip. Um. <clears throat> well, Laura Lee, since I know you're going to miss the live, and I'm sorry about your back. She got hurt. Anyways, we missed you. <laughs> and I hope to see it in the replay. I make my own that way. I have no one to blame but myself. See, that's not any fun. I, I like to blame people. Yeah, a sandwich just tastes better. When... <laughs> I'll go Miracle Whip specifically if it has sharp cheddar. That makes sense, Jen. I totally, I can see that. Sharp cheddar has that bite to it that mayonnaise would go well with. I, I'm going to have to try that. Mm-hmm. Makes total sense. All right, how are you guys doing? Are you guys dry yet or close to dry? We don't have to be perfectly dry for the next step. We're going to use our palette knife to add in our black lines. I'm gonna add a little bit more black to my plate. Okay. Okay, so it's all dried. I'm gonna look at. I gotta look at this because I gotta see what I'm doing here. Uh, hers is so cool. Sorry, guys. Hang on. <laughs> Did you guys see these rocks that she painted on? Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, they're so funny though. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I know this is like a, but I have to show you guys these because I laughed hysterically. And wait for the punchline, okay? Um, so here we go. We've got some nice painted rocks. Anybody recognize these people? <laughs> oh, wait, here we got more painted rocks. It's an official, what did you call I it? I said I'm forming my own rock band. Yeah, yeah. In her post, she said she's forming her own rock band. <laughs> like, look at that. How epic. I love the sunglasses on this dude. <laughs> Do you know who that is? No. Nah. Is that... <laughs> what is his name? Elton John. It is Elton John. Okay, so yeah, I thought so. I kind of had a feeling. Who else wears those kind of sunglasses? Anyway, so <coughs> look at our rock band because that's amazing. Anyways, sorry, sidetracked. Um, moving on to the black on our poppy field. Again, I am using the palette knife. So with this, kind of like when we were doing our straight lines here. We're going to basically do the same thing, so kind of create like a line with your palette knife. You're going to dab, dab. You don't want a ton of paint to start. Um, it's kind of like just test it out and then go from there. So the main idea is to kind of create the idea of your poppy. So because this is still really wet, I'm just going to kind of try and trace this top part here. So I'm going to set this down and I'm just going to kind of line it out here. Just one line, like that. Well, that kind of got funky, but that's okay. Trust me, it'll look cool. <clears throat> so then, we're going to come up here. Trish and Sarah saw Elton this year. Oh, <gasps> for real? That is so cool. 
or last year? Last year. We saw pink last year, actually, yeah. about this exact time last year. It was the 4th. It was the 4th? Mm hmm May the 4th be with you. <laughs> that would be tomorrow. So, yeah, we totally saw Elton, or Elton John. <laughs> we saw pink last year. Exactly tomorrow. And we drove 20 hours. We drove 20 hours to see her. With the kids with <laughs> not the diarrhea. <laughs> with uh, four kids. Um, three of them under the age of, well, five and under. Um, and there was some, what did you call it? <laughs> they all had their stomach I swear to God, they all had a stomach bun. So it was like diarrhea central. Okay, so I am, if you're just joining us, creating a mess with a palette knife. I'm not sure how to do this. Explain to me, sis. Am I doing this wrong? So, I'm trying to get this line. So, mm -hmm. I understand the smiley face. You just come in and you do this line mm -hmm. here. Okay? It's the frowny face that I'm struggling with. Well, then turn, you, if you have you have a hard time working it one way, then do all the one ways and then turn your canvas over. Oh, she's so smart. Okay, so, because I'm struggling with the frowny faces, I'm going to go ahead and lay in my smiley faces. And that means one line right there. Right. I'm going to do a line right here. They don't have to be perfect, guys. So I'm doing my smiley faces here. Right here. Yeah, if you guys at all have a hard time reaching something or your hand's just not working in the right direction, just turn your canvas. Most of you are not using an easel. So it's a little bit easier to just flip it around and get in like there. that look. Oops, I totally bumped that. Okay, I'm gonna wait on that one because that one's still wet. I like that. So if you notice, and I just figured this out, when you're doing this, if you kind of flatten it in some areas and then come back, it gives you a little bit of a messy line, a little bit thicker, which looks cool. So I'm doing all my smiley faces, which is the line above my highlight, and then I'm doing a line up below. Okay, any faces. Comes up there, so I'm just kind of doing a. Hopefully, you guys see that. Or ask me to clarify, that's cool too. Okay, so now because I'm terrible at the frowny face, I am going to flip it over. And now I'm going to do. Do it from the other edge. Oh, I like that. Yes, ma'am, I do. I so I'm have to hold up right on the edge. And as you notice, I'm not, I'm literally just doing that edge there. So I'm going to fix this one here. Okay, so let's flip this back over. It's starting to look like an abstract poppy field. So now I'm gonna. And she come through. Yes. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> Dang it, now I gotta turn it back over again. That's alright, we're gonna do this first. Sorry guys, I make weird noises when I'm excited about my painting. I'm going to flip this back over because I missed the line. Is everybody with me? I know it kind of gets weird. Whoops. That was a slip of the hand. That was totally unintentional, but we're going to pretend like I meant to do that. So what I'm going to do is come in in the corners here and create, kind of just kind of identify that a little bit more in that corner. Like that. Just using the edge of my palette knife now. And it comes out even further with this because I think it looks cool. Add a little darker shade to that side. I don't know. Right now I'm I'm going rogue, guys. 
sorry, row because it's fine. So I'm just adding a little bit more dark to the one side of the poppy because I think it looks cool. You guys with me? How we doing? Because the next step is to create our stems. So this here, these little boogers, I'm going to come in underneath of them a little bit and add a little black. Okay, I'm going to come in under these on this side. Notice how all my shadows are kind of on the same side on my left. One of those precision painter things. That's one of those obsessive compulsive <laughs> painter things, just so you know. I can't help myself. Okay, so at this point, I'm getting ready to put my stems in now. We'll come back and add kind of the centers of our poppies, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of get my edge, kind of pile my paint up so I have this nice edge. Put my paint right there on the edge. And like for this one, I'm going to pull it down. Kind of think about where you are going to go with it. I'm going to bring all of my stems kind of into the center here. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to just pull it down into there. See how I did that? Okay. So I'm just dab dabbing in my paint. And I got some paint on that edge. In some areas there I missed. Okay, so then, let's pick a different one, say for this one, I'm going to bring this down right into there. I'm going to bring this, this one over, you can kind of angle it how you want, but I'm going to bring it right into there. Just dabbing on the side. This one's going to come out and come down right into there this one is going to come down right into there this one I gotta lift this up is going to come down right into there so you notice I have a bunch of stems right here that didn't go all the way down so I'm going to bring those down just dabbing the edge of my palette knife and bringing them all down. This one over here, I'm going to bring that down like that. Any one I'm missing? I don't think that's all my stems. What about the top one? This one? Yeah. I, I got that one. See it. Oh, it's, it's, in, it's in the shine. Oh, I didn't get this one now. Yeah, you did. Oh, I got it again. Oh, wait. It's on the other one. Yeah. It's trying to fall over here. <laughs> okay, so I have stems all kind of going down. Very simple with that palette knife. I'm really liking this. Especially my drippy drippy with my flowers. Okay. You all with me? Oh, my God. I don't know why I'm wiping it off. I just do that from time to time. How are we doing, guys? That's right. It's there. doesn't matter if anybody's watching it there. I'm loving it. I am. I like this one almost even more, actually way more than my other one. I don't know why. I don't know what's different. But it's, it's better. I'm just going to say that right now. It's better. Ah, <sighs> what is next? No, legit, sis, what's next? <laughs> the, centers. <laughs> the centers. So we're going to do the centers. So do you do the black first? Do we do dab-dab on the black? And then we do dab-dab with the... Uh, well, I just know... Uh... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so if you have your palette knife and you've kind of finished with all your lines... All I'm going to do first is I'm going to take and I'm going to dab just the edge 
of my palette knife and this black. And then I'm going to, right here where the center of that poppy would be, I'm going to dab a little bit of this color in there. Just a little bit. Just like that. Just so we have a couple different shades going on in there. Our orange poppies may look like basketballs. Oh, no. Hmm. You can add some more highlights to them. 